The World Poker Tour. The biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. The WPT is a series of international high-stakes poker tournaments that can turn amateur players into millionaires and make professionals into superstars. With millions of dollars on the line, it's time for these six players to live the dream of fame, fortune, and the one thing money can't buy, a WPT title. Tonight, on the World Poker Tour. From Hollywood, where the stars of the silver screen faced off against the stars of the green felt. Tonight, we're at the Commerce Casino for the final table of the WPT Invitation. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Sexton, alongside Vince Van Patten, and welcome to the World Poker Tour. And, Mike, here we go again. We are back at the Colossal Commerce Casino in Hollywood, my hometown, to see the titans of the entertainment field clash against the best poker players in the world. And out of those 567 players and posers, we're down to the remaining six. And what a final six we've got tonight. There are four unknown players at this table, including a boxer from West Virginia, Leron Washington, who qualified by winning an online satellite for less than $20. Now in seat number three is Trishel Canatella. Now she rose to fame on MTV's The Real World Las Vegas. Don't be fooled by her looks. She's a poker player. She's very dangerous. Well, the most dangerous player at the table is Thor Hansen of Norway. He's got two WSOP bracelets to his credit, as well as tournament wins around the world. Well, this guy is like the godfather of Norwegian <laughs> poker, the Scandinavian Doyle Brunson. Well, Vince, Thor is by far the most experienced player at the table, and I'm picking him to win. But as we know, everyone's still got a shot at that $100,000 first place prize. The question is, who's going to take the title? I don't know. We don't know. You don't know. But we want to find out. Let's go watch the bluffing. Okay, here we go. The final table of the WPT Invitational about to get underway. We started two days ago with 567 players. We are down to these final six. The Andes are going to be 10,000. Blinds 30 and 60,000 when we start. Well, there you see the percentages of chips that each player has. If it has green next to their name, means they have above average in chips. If you have a red next to your name, means you're below average in chips. But you know what's interesting? This is really a six-way race. Everybody about the same amount of starting chips, 14 to 20 percent of the chips. That truly is anybody's game. Who's going to walk away with this WPT title? Let's go to the felt. It's to the outdoor furniture entrepreneur, Neve Barham. He looks down at a 10-8 of clubs, and he's going to fold it. Action's on our club WPT qualifier, Leron Washington. Got in this tournament by beating 2,400 players online to get this seat. He's folded that hand, and now it's Steve Elliott. Yeah, Steve owns and operates a construction company, father of three. Got a suited connector, 6'5". He's raised it to 120 to go. Well, he is gambling tonight already. Godfather out. The lady at the table also folding. And now Sean Urban, the Navy man. Navy officer for 10 years. He lays it down, so aggressive play by Steve Elliott, takes down pot number one. That's right, the local, the general contractor. There's some of Steve's friends in the audience. And he got into this tournament because he won a seat into the LA Poker Classic right here at the Commerce Casino. So that won a seat in this event as well. All right, action on this hand goes to the reality star, Trishel Canatella. She quickly mucks a suited connector. Oh, wow, Sean Urban picking up aces. Oh boy, anchors away here, Vince. He's going to raise it, makes it 150000 to go. It's from the outdoor furniture entrepreneur. Quickly folding. Now the boxer, Laron Washington. Doesn't have much of a hand. And he pulls that punch, goes out. Around again to Steve Elliott. Well, he won the first pot with a 6-5 connector. Here he's got the queen 10 of clubs. He's going to make the call here. Yep, the ace is going to get action. Thor going out. So two-way action here. It's aces for the Navy man, queen 10 of clubs. For the construction. And it man. just gets better and better. Ace is full on the flop. How do you like that? Unbelievable. You just pinch yourself. Especially when your opponent's leading out and betting at you. Just like the guy's doing here. Steve bets out 200000 Sean, of course, just going to make the okie dokie call here. Yeah, I like that. Nicely done. Just calls. Got his guy on the ropes. This could be a bloodbath. Let's see the turn card. And eight of spade comes off. Now, this does give. Steven, two-way straight draw. Of course, we know he's drawn completely dead. There's 350,000 more yep. that's going in the garbage can. Ooh, zip and pip. He is bet again. Decisions, decisions. Now the Navy man. Put on your Shakespeare shoes, my friend. 
Mike Emily. No, he says all in. He's going to chase his opponent away, it looks like. A massive over bet in my view here. So Sean Urban with the all-in bet there takes down that pop. But that's over-aggressive play with aces full. Why not just sit back and let the other guy continue to bet? That is a misfired missile by the Navy man. <laughs> but what do we know? We play this event, and we got knocked out. Oh, boy. Good point, man. And he's our chip leader. On the first day of the WPT Invitational, I sat next to Mike Sexton. And for, for me to be playing in his tournament, you know, at the table with the host of the WPT was, was great. Because I asked myself, what if he actually wins? <laughs> Who's going to take his chair in the booth, right? But, uh, of course, he didn't win. I'm not like he's a bad player, but, of course, he was just having fun. And it was great to be with him. And he was just great. Great guy. We are coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. Stay with us. From day one of this event, the WPT's Kara Scott has been following all the action. Well, not only have I been watching all of the action here tonight, but I also got to walk the red carpet and mingle at the party. And I did hear one or two bad beat stories as well, as the stars of Hollywood came out to battle the stars of the poker world. playing on this event. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's just like kind of a party environment, so I've had a lot of fun. It's like one pro per table, yeah. at least, yeah. one celebrity per yeah. table, and one uh, idiot jerk. <laughs> but after all the fun was had, the most important thing that happened was that we raised $100,000 for Chrysalis, a nonprofit organization that helps the poor and homeless by finding them jobs. Um, we're real excited to present a check for over $100,000 to the Chrysalis Foundation. Back to you guys. And it's so great to have Kara Scott with us tonight. Yes, it is. But it showed me that even if you're not well known, if you say, woo! <laughs> you get on film. <laughs> well, you got a good point there, Vance. No doubt about it. But what a night this is for the actors that come out and play this event, as well as for the top pros and the amateur who have qualified to get in here. And we've got a couple of those at this table. You're looking at one of them right there and Steve Elliott. And you know, a contractor, Thor going out. Trishel also not playing. Back to the Navy man, Sean Urban. Yep, he's got ace 10, and he is going to raise. Makes it 150 to go. Well, standard play on the button. Neve out, and now around to the boxer. He's got a pretty good queen 10. Well, LeBron Washington, called the Dream, lives in Huntington, West Virginia. I think he could probably squash a walnut in his arm. <laughs> Seriously, he could probably crush a walnut. Just Can you imagine that left jab coming at you oh. with this guy? Mm. A race. And he's going to raise. Three things. Made it 450,000 to go, but the Navy man does have ace 10. Well, the question is, do you want to mess with a boxer, Vince? Do you want to aggravate this guy? Mm -hmm. He's going to lay it down. So there you go. A beautiful uppercut by the boxer there. Takes down the pot for him. There's LeRon's wife. Well, Vincent, what a story about them. He beat 2,400 players in an online satellite to get an entry into this tournament. And when he was playing the tournament, his wife went to bed. In the wee hours of the morning, went in. Honey, wake up. We're going to L.A. All right, action on Trishel. Canatella, so far, has been tighter than Shear's forehead. She goes away. Urban also going out. Neve Barham also folding, so it's around to Laron. Well, just has Nate Deuce here going to lay it down. And Steve Elliott, the construction company owner, looks down at a pair of tens. Just calling. Let's take a free one. And Thor with a queen six, content to see a flop. Well, here comes that flop. Well, 10 7 5. Unbelievable top set for Steve Elliott, and he quickly checks. Yep, he's going to try to make Thor bet, and Thor's going to bite. Oh, 85,000. Well, Vince, Thor's old school. That means when they're checking, I'm a betting. And unfortunately for Thor, he's betting here, drawing dead. Yeah, but Steve just calling, not going to shake up his opponent, and he gets quads on the turn. Gets well, better and better. It checks again. Well, Vince, notice what he's doing here. He is walking the dog much better than we saw the Navy man do when he had aces full. He is just checking and letting Thor continue to bet, and unfortunately for Thor, he's doing just that. No way he can win the pot, just a matter of what he's going to lose. 
And now he's just got to think to himself, how do I milk this Norwegian for everything he's worth? <laughs> oh, boy. I'll tell you. Thor Hansen, longtime pro player. The only real pro at this final table. But right now, the pro in dire straits. And he just calls him. He's milking him nicely. Marching with two left feet here. River card coming up. Well, three of clubs comes off. Now what do you do if you're Steve? You know, because you've been checking and calling, it looks like you've got some type of draw on hand. Maybe like an 8-9 here. Now maybe if he thinks he comes out with a small bet here, the Thor come over the top of him for the rest of his chips. Not going to put him on three tens, let alone four tens here, the way this hand was played. He bets 175,000. Well, yeah, the gig's up. That would be jig, but okay. nevertheless. <laughs> Oh, I was bluffing, I see so. He has folded the hand. <laughs> In the meantime, he's showing everybody he had quads. He has a pretty good hand, though. Godfather of Norwegian poker. Can't blame him for trying. Six players remain. We'll come back with more action from Los Angeles here on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. superpower would best help you as a poker player? Wow. <laughs> X-ray vision, yeah. reading minds, um, turning into a hot chick for like two <laughs> minutes, distract them, creating my own cards. I mean, I go on and on, you know? Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Yes, James had it right in the first thing he said. X-ray vision, that's all you need to become a winning poker player. You didn't like that turning into a hot chick thing, huh? I like the X-ray vision better. <laughs> all right. As you can see, the Navy man, Sean Urban, is our chip leader here tonight with 2.7 million. We have six players remaining. Let's go to the money pit. Sean Urban. Well, he's our chip leader. He looks down at the four or five of diamonds. He's under the gun, as we say, in first position, yet he's still going to raise it. 150,000 to go. These are the kind of plays you can make when you're chip leader. Neve out. Now the boxer, Ron Washington, with an uneventful queen seven of hearts. Won't play that. Here around to Steve Elliott. He looks down at seven five off suit and folds. Godfather Thor is out. Around to Trichel in the big blind. And look at this, Vince. She's picked up two kings. Here he is. She is loving it. She is re-raising it. 360,000 into the little suited connector. And don't forget about her image at the table. She is tight. I mean, Stevie Wonder sees more hands than she does, and she's made a nice raise here. Well, it's another 210,000 for Sean to make this call, but he's going to do it, Vince. He's got position, he's got the chip lead. I really get to see some cards. To her delight, look at that smile. Well, the smile evaporates with that flop because an ace has come on the board. Invariably, it seems like when you have kings and raise it, that's what happens. But her opponent could also have queens or jacks and have her beat. So you can tell by just looking at her, she is not happy with that flop at all. She's in a quandary now. She's sickened that an ace appeared there when you got kings. Now, will she fire? i check. No. Well, she's going to check, man. It's just fearful. He's got an ace in his hand. The Navy guy got nothing, though. And now he's thinking about, should I pull off a fast one here? Check. But no, he's going to check again. A seven of clubs on the turn. Again, she's in that position. Well, Vince, because she re-raised the pot, he's putting her on big cards, just no matter which ones they are. Check. And she checks twice. Pretty obvious she's got kings or tens here. Check. Again, he checks right behind her. Now the four spade comes off. Well, is she going to go for the hat trick and checks? To you. And indeed she has. To check, you. check, check to him. Yeah. Well, Sean's made a pair of fours, but I'm sure that he feels like she's got two kings, two tens, two nines, something like that, where he's dead meat. And I believe as long as he's taken, he hasn't bet on the flop or the turn, that she's going to pay him off with two kings if he decides to make a move now. He's going to start to feel comfortable now the more time he takes, but he still would be content at this point just to hear a nice check come out of his mouth. Check. And yep. she gets that word. Well, she's oh. going to take down this pot. A nice pot it is, over 800000 Nicely done by 
the reality TV stuff.